In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 124, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. A lot of you requested an easy way to enable the AI visualizations from Alpha 123, showing the ray casting in the sound spheres, so that was the first thing I did this week. You can just open the config file and set visible raycast and visible sound spheres to true. Next I started working on AI pathfinding, so that enemies can better navigate around obstacles. I started by using an open source library called Recast to automatically create a navigation mesh, which is a simplified 2D representation of the world, showing where characters can and can't walk. I then use its companion library, called Detour, to find paths from point to point on the navigation mesh. There's still a lot of pathfinding problems to solve, but this is a significant step. A related problem is jump prediction, which is figuring out where a jump will end if it starts with a certain velocity. The prediction starts by creating a path using the ballistic trajectory equations, and then using swept sphere collisions to see if the path will collide with the environment. Next I worked on inverse prediction, which starts with the target point and then calculates the initial velocity the character would need in order to get there. This led to this mouse control jumping test, in which the character jumps to exactly where you click, no matter how far away that point might be. Finally, I added the character's jump limitations to this calculation, so he only has his usual, still impressive, jump strength. The inverse prediction has a whole range of solutions, based on the vertical height of the trajectory. What it does here is calculate three different trajectories, red for minimum height, blue for medium height, and green for maximum height. The lowest trajectory is always fastest, if there's nothing in the way, because gravity doesn't have to take its time to accelerate the character downwards. However, often the higher trajectories are needed in order to clear obstacles. To decide between them, the character always picks the lowest trajectory that actually reaches the target point when taking collisions into account. If we turn off the visualization, we can see that this method usually gives pretty good results. The whole jump prediction scheme is only one piece of the problem, though. Now the AI can tell what the best trajectory is to any given point, if there is one, but without the mouse input, it still doesn't know when to jump or what target point to jump to. I'll get to that soon, but in the meantime, you can turn on the mouse control jumping in the character script. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at wolfire.